What color of the chopping board do you need? If you work with food, ensuring it is prepared safely must be our top priority. A kitchen environment can present many hazards to food safety, so it's vital that you control this to prevent from causing harm to our consumers. One common way of reducing food safety hazard is by using color-coded chopping boards. These are essential component of food safety and the color means that they can be easily identified in a very busy kitchen. If you're a food handler, you must know which color of the chopping board you should use for which item of food and ensure that you never mix them up. My name is Franz and on this vlog, we will answer the question, what are the type of chopping boards do I need and their uses? The different chopping board colors exist for the purpose of food safety. In a color chopping board system, each board is used for a different type of food or food groups. For example, a red chopping board has a different use with a green chopping board. Using colored boards helps to minimize the risk of cross-contamination by ensuring that the high and low risk foods such as raw meat and salad vegetables are kept separate in turn. This helps to prevent outbreaks of food poisoning and upholds a good business reputation. As well as, these colored boards are also helpful to prevent cross-contact between allergens. For example, using boards for dairy-free and dairy cheeses can help to keep dairy allergy sufferers safe and maintain their confidence in your food establishment. So, what are these type of chopping boards and what are their uses? Let's start. The red chopping board. A red chopping board is used for raw meat and poultry. Examples of when you would use this board include to cut up meat prior to cooking them or to mar marinate them or to debone a piece of the meat. You must use this board whenever you need to work with a raw meat. This is essential for preventing cross-contamination between raw food and ready-to-eat food. Yellow chopping board. A yellow chopping board is used to cook a meat and poultry. For example, cooked meats like ham, salami, and turkey slices. Meat that you have cooked that you need to slice or debone, such as a joint of a beef or a whole piece of chicken, are also included. The yellow chopping board must only be used for cooked meat. Raw meat must be prepared separately on the red chopping board I mentioned a while ago to avoid cross-contamination. If you need to cut a prepared cooked fish, such as slicing a salmon fillet or deboning a piece of trout, then you should also use the yellow chopping board. However, you should, you should not use it for a raw fish. Let's proceed to the blue chopping board. You should use the blue chopping board for a raw fish, including shellfish. For example, you would use it for fish such as cod, haddock, and parak, or oily fish such as tuna, salmon, and mackerel, and shellfish such as prawns, squid, and mussels. A chopping board. A white chopping board is used for dairy bakery items. This means you can use it only for cutting bread, cakes, and pastries. You can also use it for dairy items such as grating or cutting cheese. You should always remember to wash your chopping board be between uses and especially when you have food on them that contains allergen. It could be fatal to prepare a bread on an unwashed whiteboard that you used for cheese for example. Now let's proceed to the green chopping board. A green chopping board is used for washed fruits and salad uh, vegetables. You should use this board for cutting up fruits such as apples, banana, and strawberries. And when cutting up salad items like tomatoes, peppers, and cucumbers. Now we have the brown chopping board. A brown chopping board should be used only when you are handling unwashed root vegetable. For example, when you are cutting potatoes, grating carrots, or slicing beetroot. Root vegetables often still have soil on them 
So using brown chopping board helps to ensure that this dirt doesn't come into contact with other food. Now, let's proceed to the purple chopping board. Yes, there is a purple chopping board. You should use a purple board for preparing free from product, such as gluten-free, sugar-free, or nut-free product. Not only is this good for practice, but it could also prevent a fatal reaction for people who suffer with allergies. It is essential that you take steps to prevent cross-contamination and allergic reaction. Now, let's proceed to the next topic. When should I replace a chopping board? Kailan mo papalitan yung chopping board mo? Having a color-coded chopping board is important for keeping food safety from microbial cross-contamination and allergens cross-contamination. However, it is equally important to regularly replace your chopping boards, especially when they are becoming old and worn. There are two Two ways you can identify whether you should replace your chopping board. One, if it has a deep knife scratches in it. Knife scores are unavoidable on chopping boards due to their purpose. However, if you notice large number of knife scores or somewhat are particularly deep in the board, then it's time for you to replace it. Another is deep knife scores are the perfect place for bacteria to exist and multiply and it is difficult to clean because these scores are so deep. If it is no longer sits flat on your work surface, that means you need to replace it. Often when a chopping board has been cleaned lots of times, it becomes mis misshapen and bends rather than sitting flatly on a surface as intended. At this point, the chopping board becomes dangerous and you should replace it. If it doesn't sit flat on the surface, it can easily move when you are cutting something and therefore possesses a danger to you. It is also a good precautionary measure to replace your colored boards if you find out somebody has been mixing them up. For example, if they have been using a green board to cut a raw meat. Color-coded chopping boards are a necessary component of any food business. They can help to keep your food and your cost consumers safe by minimizing the risk of microbial cross-contamination and allergen cross-contamination. Remember to always be consistent with your colors and replace boards when they are worn out already. Thank you for watching. Hope you have enjoyed this video and enjoy learning. Keep safe always.